Yeah. They got surveillance footage. Like, where's this from? Why you get this ankle? God damn. Nah, he <laughs> had chop on him. Nah. Are getting in position for their plan. What's good, YouTube man? It's your boy Ray Jack. You know, you know, I'm back at it like a crack at it. You feel what I'm saying? Look, today we got another fucking reaction video, and this time it's gonna be a little spicy, a little interesting, like some crazy shit went down. And look, I know this video been out for a minute already, but we finna just jump right into it and see like the real behind the scenes of like what happened, what went down. It's a lot of video footage going on around. And this is how motherfuckers got caught. You feel what I'm saying? Without further ado, we getting into that motherfucker Julio Folio uh, murder, whatever I guess you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, man, we finna we finna get into that. We finna react to that. See what really happened and how my boy is gone. You know what I'm saying? Without further ado, man, let's get into the video Julio Folio murder case. You know what I'm saying? All right, so boom, off the rip, we got a video footage right here. It's 4.36 a.m. in the morning. God damn, that shit was early, boy. Let's go. A Florida rapper's shocking murder is caught on camera. And you can see the shooters are getting in position for their planned out murder. Now nearly a month. You can see the shooters. For sh are shocking murder. God damn. Nah, he had chop on him. Nah. Are getting in position for their plan. And he got, it was like, a, I want to, uh, uh, don't quote me on this. And I'm just putting shit out there. Because, you feel me? It is what it is. Look, it looked like he got, bro got an ARP with a titties on that bitch. I ain't gonna Mark tell you. They got surveillance footage. Like, where's this from? Why you get this ankle? Now nearly a month after the rapper's sudden death, authorities are announcing multiple arrests in the case. On June 23rd of this year, rapper Charles Jones II, better known by his stage name Julio Fulio, was celebrating his birthday at a hotel in Tampa, Florida. It was there when he was ambushed in the hotel's parking lot and gunned down. The shocking crime was captured on the hotel surveillance video. In the first few seconds of the clip, a dark colored vehicle is seen outside the hotel's entrance. But within seconds, two individuals are seen running with dark colored masks on, as officials say both had fire. Oh, what the? <laughs> what? Nah, that's a Tesla? <laughs> the Tesla they got Tesla footage? Nah. Tesla footage is crazy. Hey, man. Them Teslas, something else, boy. Looks like you snitching. That's a good thing, but it's a bad thing at the same time. You can't do shit. Not, not saying I do anything. Not saying I do anything, but you really can't do shit. Like, what if I was to just throw a piece of trash out the window or some shit? <laughs> Fucking Tesla recorded my stupid ass. <laughs> like, damn, this shit is, everything is recorded, bro. Like, stay safe, bro their arms in their hands. Then another individual appears on camera, also with the firearm coming from another direction. Shortly after, bullets are seen flying as one of the gunmen is seen on surveillance video firing off multiple rounds into the vehicle with Jones inside riding in the passenger seat. The Jacksonville rapper was pronounced Shot. dead and three Ooh. others were injured in the sh Hold on. All right, we back, we back, we back shooting. But within a month, authorities would get their break in the case and quickly track down their suspects. A little more than a month ago. There's a female part of this shit too. There's five motherfuckers. I thought there was only like four, three. There's five of them. Bitches. Damn. A group of individuals with the goal of premeditated murder traveled from Jacksonville to shit. Tampa. To and she with them. <laughs> I wonder if she had if she had pole. Like was she shooting too or was she like an inside inside play or some shit? You know what I mean? Like the inside man. Or was she just like just busting at that nigga too? Like that's crazy. To commit a heinous crime in our city. I said at that time that we would make arrest and get justice in this case for all the victims, including the mother of Charles Jones, who traveled from Jacksonville this morning to be present for this announcement. Today, I stand before Tampa Police Major Pat Mesmer, Jacksonville Sheriff T.K. Waters, 
and Hillsborough State Attorney Susie Lopez to announce the arrest of three people in the deadly shooting of Charles Jones, also known by his stage name of Julio Fulio. In addition, we have warrants and are actively searching for two other individuals in this case. During a press conference on July 29th, a little more than a month after the deadly shooting. Okay, so they had already got three. They were looking for three, two more. So it's five in total. I think it's Shane Gatherite, Elisa Andrews, and Isaiah Chance. Officials announced the arrest of three Bugs. people. 21-year-old Isaiah Chance Jr., 21-year-old Alicia Andrews, and 18-year-old Sean Gathright. At the time, authorities were still looking for the two other suspects, Rashad Murphy and Davion Murphy. But officials were clear all five played a role in the rapper's death. These individuals took extreme measures to try to cover their actions, but they were no match for our investigators. Isaiah Chance, Alicia Andrews, Sean Gaithright, Davion Murphy, and Richard Murphy are all accused of playing a role in Jones's death and are all charged with one count of murder in the first degree premeditated with the discharge of a firearm and one count of conspiracy of murder in the first degree premeditated with the discharge of a firearm. Chance, Andrews, and Gaithright were arrested over the weekend in Jacksonville. Davion Murphy and Richard Murphy are still fugitives of justice, and we are working closely with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office and the U.S. Marshals to apprehend them. According to Tampa Police Chief Lee Burkhoff, the group followed Fulio after his location for his birthday celebration was posted on social media for his one million followers to see. And the shocking surveillance video would prove critical in the case. Jones was in town celebrating his birthday and posted on his social media his locations several times throughout that night. Surveillance see. video was critical in this investigation. Man, bro, like, I don't understand motherfuckers, bro. Especially when you got this type of fame, bro. Like, parties shouldn't be, like, bro, you... You got millions of followers on your Instagram. You got ops for one. You feel what I'm saying? Like, why are you going to take the time of your day, post a location you was going to be at multiple times? All the different locations you was going to be at. And you know you got ops. Like, bro, you're, I understand that you built like that. You're tough, whatever. You got bodies, whatever, missing this and that. But, bro, anything can happen to you at the end of the day. You feel what I'm saying? And you got a crazy following amount of people, right? So why not go ahead and just throw... A little, a little get together gathering with all your your niggas. You feel what I'm saying? Like all your people. Like why you gotta go and post that shit on a, on a uh, on the social medias for the world to see? Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like you could have had a small little private birthday dinner and whatnot. You feel what I'm saying? Like motherfuckers be worldwide known, money in their pockets, all this other shit, and just be doing the most dumbest shit in the world. I tell you, hey bro. Especially nowadays, bro, like, you got the King Von situation. Supposedly, ah, no, King Von didn't really post that on his, on his social media, but I can't think off the top of my head, but a lot of motherfuckers post Pop Smoke, for one. I don't, I, I don't think he posted it. I, supposedly he did, but, like, niggas getting a drop on your low, off your mistakes. Like, come on, bro, move move tack, my nigga, move tack. As suspects were seen on video following Jones from location to location. This Where shows the links. Just said it from location to location because your dumbass is posting it on Instagram, on social media. Like, bro, stay private, my nigga. You ain't got to pop out for nobody. That these individuals, even if you do pop out, just you can be private. They can see it on, on Instagram the day after, the next day. Like, when you back, you feel me? Safe and sound. You feel what I'm saying? Like, niggas be moving so. Reckless. We're willing to go through and achieve that this murder would occur. At 4.15 in the morning, Jones began to head to a hotel on McKinley. One of the suspect vehicles is seen following the victim. However, instead of following them into a parking lot, they stage across the street. At 4.38, three shooters exit a vehicle and walked in the direction of the hotel. 
they murder Jones with a handgun and two rifles. This barrage of gunfire also struck three additional victims who miraculously survived this incident. Many questions lingered as to why the Jacksonville rapper was brutally murdered, but Chief Burkhoff said Fulio was targeted during an ongoing gang feud. The investigation would later reveal that the three armed shooters were Sean Gaithright, Richard Murphy, and Davion Murphy. Detectives used footage from the scene, license plate readers, and phone logs to identify two vehicles and link them back to the suspects. Damn. Don't leave a disaster behind. Furthermore, it was found that the shooters are members of or affiliated with rival. I ain't gonna lie. You niggas used your own cars to, to do this drill? Like, you think, what? Why not go? Hold on. I'm hop in that, bro. Hold on. <laughs> what the bullshit? Y'all use your own, look, for one, y'all use your own car to go do a drill, right? Okay, let's say y'all do use your own car. Why the fuck y'all got the license plates on your own car still? Like, nigga, niggas do not be thinking, bro. And, and for two, why you gonna use your own car? Why don't you just go, you know what I mean? Bip some shit, hot wire some shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, niggas do not, bro, there's so many ways they could have avoided getting caught. I'm not saying, like, they should have got caught. I don't know, bro. But, like, I'm not playing no time. I'm just saying, like, bro. There's so many ways they could have got away with that shit, bro. Why the fuck y'all, one, talking on the phone? Supposed to meet up in person. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Like, mind you, I'm pretty sure these niggas been ninja a couple times. Like, come on now. Niggas' phones is tapped by now. Like, come on, bro. Let's be 100% honest. Like, come on, bro. Don't talk over the phone, bro. Meet up somewhere. Play, let's go out to eat. You feel what I'm saying? Like, Simple shit, bro. Gangs of Jones that go by ATK and 1200. Jones was part of the six block gang. Detectives believe that the ATK and the 1200 worked together to target Jones as part of an ongoing feud in Jacksonville. I want to send a clear message to anyone that the city of Tampa is not where you want to come to settle a dispute. You will be charged, you will be arrested, and you will be prosecuted to the fullest extent possible. Furthermore, if you're a gang member, there's no alleged immunity through a cone of silence, as our detectives will find evidence needed to make an arrest and hold everyone accountable, just as we did in this case. Then, you will be prosecuted by our tenacious state attorney, Susie Lopez. Then a day after the press conference, another break in the case. With only one of the alleged gunmen behind bars, warrants were still out for Rashad and Davion Murphy, the two other alleged gunmen. But overnight, authorities apprehended Rashad Murphy at an apartment complex in Jacksonville. According to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, negotiators spent hours attempting to get Murphy out before additional units, including SWAT, used their own tactics to force him out before he was arrested. Now authorities are still on the lookout for the remaining suspect and other alleged trigger man, Davion Murphy. It was a, a celebration for him. Oh, and unfortunately, um, some people allegedly took uh, that opportunity to go up to Tampa and take his life. Attorney Afi Patterson explains the shocking crime was an organized hit. And once the five suspects tracked Fulio down through social media, they were easily able to carry out the brazen crime. Yeah, I don't know that I would call it a level of sophistication. I think, you know, nowadays everybody uses social media. If you're somebody who wants to track down, you know, your ex, or if you want to know what's going on with your current partner, you're going to use social media. I don't think that, um, you know, requires a, a ton of sophistication. Um, I don't know that, you know, maybe you can use that argument and tie it to uh, the, 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 the argument that it's gang related, um, you know, a level of organization. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know that I would, uh, would call it sophistication, but I definitely believe that he had a target on his head. The five suspects were also identifiable as the murder was captured in clear surveillance footage. You know, we look in this situation, we have, I think um, there's like at least an 18 year old, there's maybe a 21 year old, a 30 year old, you know, a 27 year old. So. I look at the younger people and I look at, you know, their experiences with law and crime, if you will, their 
experiences with um, uh, actions and consequences. And I also take a, a look at, you know, what is their outlook on life? You know, what do they have to live for and what do they have to lose? And a lot of times, you know, we know, you know, when you're in middle school, when you're in high school, kids do things and, you know, they don't always look at the long-term effects of it. You know, it, 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 they don't understand what uh, someone has to lose. So I, I look at it as, you know, th there's such brazenness because they haven't really been exposed to consequences um, and, and, and they really don't understand everything that's at stake. During Monday's press conference, Hillsborough County District Attorney Susie Lopez said even though Isaiah Chance Jr. and Alicia Andrews didn't pull the trigger, all five now face the rest of their life in prison. The on pull the trigger, me Susie everything that's at stake. During Monday's press conference, Hillsborough County District Attorney Susie Lopez said even though Isaiah Chance Jr. and Alicia Andrews did Okay, so the light skinned nigga and the, the female are the two that didn't pull triggers. Okay, I thought, she, I was gonna say, she pulling triggers? She's tough, like, what? Okay, so she didn't pull it and then my nigga light skinned Isaiah didn't pull it. Okay, but I say that. Didn't pull the trigger, all five now face the rest of their life in prison. The, the ongoing fight between these two groups spilled over into Might Tampa well last it. month. No, Let I me be clear, time. the feud stops here. All five of these defendants are the feud stops. The, 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 the next three niggas looks like some, some crash out, like some shooters, like some go-getter, like this nigga look like he had shoot some shit, this nigga look like he some shit, and nigga look like he shoot some shit. And they both got the, the, this nigga right here and this nigga right here got the same uh, last name. I wonder if they like brothers or something. It can't be, it can't be his pops. Them niggas damn look the same age. <laughs> oh, no, no. Over into Tampa last month. Let me be clear. The feud stops here. All five of these defendants are facing life in the Florida State Prison, even the ones who didn't pull the trigger. In Florida, if you participate in the planning of a murder, you can be held accountable for the person's death. And that is what we intend to do here. There were three people who pulled the trigger. You saw it on the video. Five people, though, are charged with murder. The level of planning and coordination between these five- So this, this nigga and this girl, these two, these two are the one I didn't pull the trigger. These three pulled the trigger. Okay, gotcha. Defendants was truly alarming. It is clear that they all had one purpose in coming to Tampa, and that was to kill. Lunch. Let's not lose sight of the fact that there are innocent victims in every homicide case, the loved ones who are left behind. His fans knew him as Julio Fulio, but to his mom, he's Charles. We're fighting to make sure that she gets justice. I was able to speak with her this morning before she got to Tampa, and she's in Tampa with us today. I wanted to let her know that my office takes gun violence very seriously. And I let her know that these five defendants will be held accountable for their calculated actions. The defendants are in custody, three of them, in Jacksonville, and will be moved here to appear in court. My office will file a motion for pretrial detention to ensure that these dangerous individuals are held behind bars as they await trial, where they belong. Patterson explains the group's pretrial detention, meaning all are not very likely to have bond or bail in their cases, isn't surprising given the seriousness of their charges. You know, so many things go into um, consideration for a bond. So, you know, I wanna look at um, just the crime, the events, the circumstances that allegedly happen around the crime, but I also wanna take into account, um, you know, their age, their criminal history, uh, their reputation and standing in the community. Uh, there, there are just so many factors that that go into it. Um, but you know, just given what's been alleged, I don't disagree with the state's position that they shouldn't have a bond. And here's what else we've learned about the five suspects. According to Tampa Police Chief Lee Burkov, the suspects include members of the gang ATK, also known as Aces Top Killers, and 1200, <laughs> which have been in a decade-long feud with Fulio's gang Six Block. ATK is affiliated with another Jacksonville rapper, Young and Ace, who was mentioned during the press conference. However, Jacksonville Sheriff TK Water says he's not being investigated at this time. So Young and Ace has long been known in Jacksonville. Um, we are consistently monitoring that group, those groups. 
Um, we have people that are always watching them. Uh, I won't speak to the chief's investigation. That's up to TPD. We don't have. And he just put out on video that them niggas being watched. So he for sure he ain't doing shit. Why would he do something? He ain't got to. Them niggas being watched too. Like, that nigga aces. But I mean, he had the crib making music on GTA. You know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't got no reason to do nothing. He ain't got to come out the house. Investigation on him right now. But he can't move around in Jacksonville without us knowing about it. And that's, uh, that's for the betterment of our community. According to Tampa PD, 21-year-old Alicia Andrews assisted Isaiah Chance Jr. in tracking and following Fulio and his entourage to two separate locations on the night of the shooting. Officers arrested her on July 27th along with Chance, and the two are now charged with premeditated first-degree murder and conspiracy to commit premeditated first-degree murder with a firearm. Yeah, Officials confirmed there. Chance is a documented ATK member. Although Chance was not one of the shooters, on the night of the murder, investigators say Chance was in one of the suspect's vehicles and helped yeah, Andrews in tracking ground, Julio's dude. movements throughout the night. Police say at each location, Andrews and Chance got out of their vehicle and Chance used a cell phone to contact the other suspect. Suspects. After he used the phone, a second suspect's vehicle arrived at each location. Then both vehicles ultimately followed Fulio to the hotel. 18-year-old Sean Gathright, who authorities confirmed was one of the three shooters, was arrested at a Jacksonville shopping center. But according to First Coast News, officials did not say whether Gathright was affiliated with the Jacksonville gang. Gathright is charged with premeditated murder with a firearm, three counts of first degree attempted yeah. premeditated Gathright used to follow seconds and chance used a cell phone to contact the- Damn man, I arrested all three of these niggas in the same day? Damn. <laughs> July, July 7th, 27th. Oh, no, not July 7th. I'm stupid. July 27th. All at the same day. Hold on, my camera. All right, but yeah, so they arrested. The Tampa PD link Fulio and his entourage to July 27th. July 27th. Uh, Two know, separate know. locations on the night of the shooting. Officers hated Arch and helped and used the only five three shooters was arrested at this nigga. the same day. That's a Jacksonville shopping affiliate. He counts of first. As for the other attempted premeditated murder with a firearm and tampering with physical evidence. As for the other two oh, shooters, yeah, Rashad Murphy and Davion Murphy, they face the same charges as Gathright, and officials confirm both are members of the 1200 gang. Right now, it's still too early to tell if the case will go to trial, as four of the five suspects await transport to Tampa to face their charges, and all have not entered a plea just yet. Police say Davion Murphy is still wanted by authorities and a warrant is out for his arrest. He faces charges of first degree murder and three counts of attempted first degree murder. Online records show Sean Gathright, Alicia Andrews and Isaiah Chance Jr. are still behind bars in the Duval County Jail before being transported to Tampa to face their charges. But at this time, it's unclear where Rashad Murphy is being detained. Reporting for Law and Crime, I'm Elizabeth Mulner. Nah, that's crazy, Jack. That's crazy. So my boy Davion is still on the run. Y'all think he's gonna get caught, man? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. But nah, that's crazy, bro. Like, they did so many things wrong. Like, we need the best foot. The only way they got caught, it seems like to me, that, like after watching the video, I feel like the only way they got caught is because they used their own car and kept the plates on it for one. Two, they was talking over the phone. That's the only two. It's, that's the only two ways that I can think of that got them caught for real. You see what I'm saying? Like, otherwise, if I feel like if, if those two things was eliminated, I feel like they would have been on the run right now. Still, they still would have been try, like, probably looking for Julio Julio's killer or whatever. But that's crazy, bro. Hey man, Teslas and Teslas and things, Kid Chats and 4K, man. So y'all niggas be smooth out there, man. Stay safe. You know what I'm saying? Without further ado, man, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Turn on that post bell notification for the next time I go ahead and post a video on the channel. Y'all get that notification. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, man, but look, let me know in the comments what y'all think about the video. And let me know some shit. Interact with me. You feel what I'm saying? But without further ado, man, I'll catch y'all boys. Y'all boys be safe.
And stay away from the Teslas, goddamn. Say if you out. I to the party. I'm signed up in my room. I don't really like too many around me. I'm just keeping my cool. I fucked up. I'm sorry. Do I really love you? I do. I can't lie. I'm blasted. I'm in a land. I fly for I hopped on a jet. Okay, big bag. I'm richer than your ex. Okay. Don't lie. Only here for the sex. FaceTime. I don't really like the text.